Welcome back to the Cognac, Tequila, and the Girl Show. It's time to hang out with Rob, Mike, and Dunia. Whatever you don't want to say, they will with no chaser. Take a shot and let's have a drink. Is hashtag squad goals still a thing? Because they are. Let's go. We're back. Welcome. Yep. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> you're, a, you're a little late there, Tequila, but better late than never. <laughs> True. We're all back, including my very, 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 very special friend, sister. Hey, y'all. Jackie is back, y'all. Hello, hello. She's she shows up for birthday parties. I show up for anything. Yeah, you that's tell true. Me. That's true. My mom. Now that like, I'm here, I, I told my mom you were coming, and she was like, "That girl Jackie, she gonna show up." I said, <laughs> that's right. That's my girl. She gonna show up from Colorado, from Korea, wherever. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we have twenty-four a hour guest. flight to Vegas, right? <laughs> that's was like, me, Vegas. <laughs> of course. <Yeah. laughs> Book yeah. it right now. I'll be that's, there at five that's tomorrow. That's my ride or die. Yeah, whenever I need her. Yay, yay. Um, welcome back, everyone. Um, Honiak, are you here? You didn't say anything. Yeah, I'm here. You're here. You're here. You're here. <laughs> okay. All right. Double checking. Something. Oh, okay. Just double, double fact checking. Double fact yeah. checking. <laughs> Salute to that, my yes, friend. <laughs> yes. We are on episode seventy, right? Seventy. Seventy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want us to give it in Spanish, or should we let Jack- Jackie give it to us in Spanish? Huh? <laughs> Jackie, the guest, she can talk to her people. Oh. I mean, not saying there's got to be Spanish people, but yeah, I, I talk to her people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what do I say in Spanish? Mm-hmm. Episode. Episodio. Yeah, it's episodio numero setenta. Siete. Cero. Oh, okay. Well, that's a, that sounded kind of sexy. <laughs> Thank what, you, what you got, tequila? <laughs> Sesenta. No, that's 60. Yeah, what do we mean? Sesenta. 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 60. Sesenta. 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 That's what I said. No, that's not. I'm talking to my people. Oh, okay. And she talking to her people. How many times do I have to explain it? Oh, okay. trying to tell me how to communicate bad. with people that I communicate with. Yeah. On the daily. Yeah. You know, since Right. Yeah. Okay. Do you need a hug? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to get into my people. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. So, sorry. All right. Sorry. They, they sorry. Take those people. Sorry to kill these people. They, they take that serious. You know what? Salute to kill these people. They be like, man, why you got these people telling you how to. Yeah. What they saying about our language. Oh. <laughs> yeah. This is giving me very much my father in law <laughs> right now who has his own dictionary. <laughs> Language, language, uh, Spanglish. Yeah. They, they like my friend. Why, why your friends making fun of our language? Oh. Like, man, they they don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're just we're teaching. We're very uneducated <laughs> on y'all's language. My bad. How did my perdón, over here? perdón, perdón. <laughs> Yeah. Lo siento. <laughs> Lo siento mucho. <laughs> I saw my trophy was by Jackie. She's trying to steal it from me because y'all didn't win it last you know, time. You know what? <laughs> Go for There's me, so. Perdón por eso. Okay. Dios mío. I think Margo know what those are because it's like she slapped me across the room. That's right, because yeah. Margo said women win. That's right. <laughs> Shout out to Margo, by the way, you brought her name up. Uh, mm-hmm. We had a tenant that's uh, renting our townhouse mm-hmm. that literally got approved on Monday, wanted to be in by Saturday. So she uh, ran over there after her other job today to pre clean, you know, to clean before, the, so they could move in tomorrow. So thank you, Margo. Yay, She's Margo. the best and she'll be here Sunday. Mar- Margo is the truth. Yes, yes. I need to hire her back. <laughs> You've been saying that. I she's bet. a sweet lady. Yeah. Oh love my her. gosh, she's a very so sweet much. lady. Love yeah. her, love her, love her. All right, so this episode we are doing current events. Um, I didn't ask Jackie to do any homework. Nope. She can just chime in. Um, but before we get into that, how was your week, it Tequila? Was good. My week was good. Yeah. Yeah. Good Did, week. Didn't you go somewhere? Oh, yeah, I went to Indi- <laughs> in, in Indianapolis. Indianapolis. <laughs> cool. I left Monday. Hung out with Reggie Miller. Came back yesterday. Uh, 
learned a lot. Like the city. Went to a, a baseball game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did they win? I won 30 bucks. Oh, well, then that's yeah. winning. <laughs> <laughs> what team? I mean, what's Indiana? <laughs> oh, you don't know the team? It's like a minor league team. But oh. they got a real nice park. It was real nice, and um, I was betting on connections. I just want to say woo woo I, baseball. And somebody <laughs> finally took me up, you know what I'm saying? And they won. I'm like, all right, so the next. Because bad, I got $10 that he connect with the ball. And he connect with the ball, so he wants to win his money back. Say, he's not going to connect. He can't connect. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably how I would be betting yeah. because yeah. I don't know, I don't know. Shit about yeah. baseball. So I'm just betting on if they hit the ball or not. And he like, won 30 bucks. I know what I'm betting they got they quit. <laughs> Another dollar amount, I'll be betting you. And then start calling <laughs> 30 calling. bucks. Right. And like, you're a pool shark, and it's like betting on a ball. I said, it's like betting on a shot. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I, I'm not a pool shark. Oh, they called you a pool shark? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. Fancy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. You must not be listening to this special podcast. language friends day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm just, but it's all right. I'm good. Glad you made it back safely. And you found your car just fine, right? No tire issues. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How was your week, Cognac? Oh, uh, yeah, my week was good. Um, just getting things organized together. Clean my office up yesterday a little bit. Got to finish up next week. The office is clean. Oh, yeah. Tequila, yeah. A lot of... What motivated that? Let me tell you really quick. Let me just tell him really quick. He was sitting in my office <laughs> in front of my desk like this. And I said... If you're so bored, why don't you get up and go clean your office? And he didn't have a quick comeback like he normally does, so he got up and went and cleaned his office. <laughs> but go ahead. So the hand out. on the cheek is the part that you were like, mm, because yeah. I'm usually I'm doing stuff and listening to yeah. stuff, and I'm like, why are we look? Where are you? Why are you looking at me? I love he you. He was admiring. But, uh, go do what you need to do. Yeah. I came in actually to ask or something. Yeah, but then you didn't leave from that. Yeah, and then I got on, and then I got on my phone, and then I was thinking about something. That uh -huh. was the look. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's what it was. No, really. Okay. Just uh, think, thinking about just life, thinking. like yeah. my dad, just pondering life. Yeah. <laughs> Life's meaning. Yeah. On, on Shout clock. out to <laughs> dad. On the, on the clock. I love your dad. Look, in hey, our dad. business, yeah, in our our business, if there's no drama, it's the best thing. If there's no fires, that's the best thing. That's yeah. any any business. Well, I mean, yeah. yeah. So, you know, that's... Did I drink yours? I feel huh? like I drank yours. No, this is not. Um, that's the mes mezcal. No, no, yeah. no. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. anyways, I was getting you, at you, that. You drink to, to get your soul drunk, too. Hmm? Oh, my God. That's that what your people say, Jack. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Sure. Yeah. My people say that. Sorry, go ahead, sir. No, you're fine. Um, I drink mezcal because it's the magic root. Well... We should start liquor to, to make things grow. grow. Really, or a bridge, <laughs> or a bridge <laughs> one. Yeah, go ahead, finish. Yes, you're right. No, because I have a couple other things. But anyway, so the cleaning of the office. When I took every, all these samples out of my office, I've never seen so many people. That, oh, thank you for cleaning your office. They were just going through. Can I have this? I said, man, y'all can have it. Oh, whatever you want, take it. And then um, one of those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, kind of hoarderish, and I gotta give props to my barber because yeah, shout out to him. Shout out to him. He's supposed to come to your party tomorrow because he, I've been dealing with him for a while, and uh, basically I, I had an ingrown hair on my neck, and I went to my primary. He put me on an antibiotic. Told me to go to ear, nose, and throat doctor. Then I went to a dermatologist. The first thing she said to me when she looked at it was, oh, boy. And I looked at her with the, like, the death face, like, what does oh, boy mean? You know? And then she put me on a, a three-week antibiotic to clear it out. And it, it did start, you know, coming and whatever. My mom enjoys that shit, so she was squeezing it in the chance she got. Well, this boy went in, shaved it, and, I mean, for, for 45 minutes, he was like, digging at it and until he got like it getting stuff out and like wow you know, so i gave him like extra but normal obviously that's dope you know but he was sitting he even put a face mask on the yeah a uh, shield <laughs> like a whole shield it was funny he facetimed i so facetimed his mom, so his mom I, said, I said my mom's gonna enjoy this and my wife needs to see what you're doing the hair is still in there though really that's the problem. he couldn't get he it couldn't stopped get oozing hair. so yeah. Some one of us is gonna have to get the hair. Ooh. Get the hair out. But, but yeah, he 
And last but not least, we got a new product, Y'all's Texas Tea. Yes. So, pretty packaging. It's like an Arnold Palmer in a can. Yeah, And it's actually delicious because I don't drink iced tea, but it's actually really good. Well, you like it because it has more lemon flavor to it. Very good. We can try some tomorrow. We brought a big old pack. Ooh, ooh, I am okay with trying alcohol. (laughs) We brought a case uh, today for the girls. So, be on the lookout in the stores, guys. How was your week, Jackie? I went or back to work. Kirk, if you're nasty. Yeah. I went back to work this week after being off for a week. The family finally moved to Texas, so mm-hmm. we're Texans, y'all. Yeehaw. And other than that, just work. I think you have to be here 10 years to be a Texan. All right, cool. Something like that. That's cool, because after I'll 10 give, years, I'll I'm out. Give, I'll give you 10 of mine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> good Texas. Yeah, she's yeah. a Texan girl. Yeah. But she lived here before. True. So. Just not in the right area. Yeah, I've never lived in the right area, no, according to you. You're still mother. not in it. I know. <laughs> well, I guess in 10 years, you can move to the right one, I guess. True. I mean, we have to be in a similar nursing home. like. Very closer. true. We have to. I can't remember. Did you move pre-vids or after? After. After. Well, there's, there is no after. We're still dealing with it. Yeah, we're still dealing with it. I mean, I heard that. after a slow down? <laughs> yeah. Yes. After a slid in the DMs. <laughs> yeah. I, no, I heard on the on the news that they said that the rent has gone way up, like in Austin, right there, like San Antonio area too, probably. Everybody. I don't know. Everybody's saying that San Antonio has gotten expensive. I mean, compared to where we lived in Colorado, to San Antonio, it was like, pfft. you know, same. Yeah, Springs is, like, Springs well, is hot. Shit. And Springs, that was yeah, that was, was one of the hot. areas yeah. that we were looking at at first. So this guy. Comedian watching this stand up show. See, that's my, every time it's my time. Oh, well, go on. So he did just say because I was going to ask a question ahead. based off of go what ahead, he said. You know, he said he had COVID twice. He had the original one that came from wherever Wong Kong, Wuhan. Wuhan, and then he had the box, the, the box one, the, <laughs> the two box, box one, <laughs> the, box? the one that came with the two box special. Oh, no. <laughs> my God. That shit cracked. Oh, my God. The bat suit. No, the two box special. Huh? That's what I meant. The bat suit. No, no, that was two box special. That's not the same. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. yeah. You fucked the man joke up. Yeah, for real. <laughs> so I don't know for what real. You have your just segment. He had his segment. Sure. <laughs> Anyways, my week was great. I spent a whole week not having to hear a raspy voice that got on my motherfucking nerves for over ten plus years. The office life is just more cheerful. Uh, I'm not dealing with that person. Been getting ready for my party that's tomorrow. I hope I can sleep in a little bit. <laughs> I have been like going, 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 going. And I'm going to be around all my favorite fucking people. And I'm really excited. Hey. Yeah. Celebrate, Coachella, my Coachella. girl. Coachella, Coachella. <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause. <laughs> that queen. Just go like this. Okay. Yeah. Yay me. Yay. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Anywho, um, are we ready for our segment? That segment. You know that one. That one that segment. That one damn segment. That yeah. one segment. Man. Everybody loves it though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What do tofu and dildos have in common? <laughs> tofu and dildos. That sounds gross. I don't know. Yeah, because tofu's yeah. consistency oh, is I, so I, gross. I, I, so I'm I, like, I thought about this yeah. one because of Jackie coming like in. Crazy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Dildos and tofu. Yeah. I actually Just like eggs. both to be Caviar. honest. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh, we don't, I don't know. We don't yeah. know. I don't even want to try to They're guess. They're both meat substitutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay All right. Funny. That was funny. That was pretty funny. Yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. you need to you yep. need to tell um, Audrey that tomorrow. <laughs> that meat. is a fantastic she's a vegan. joke. She's a vegan. She'll find that. Oh, really? yes. Meat substitutes. Meat substitutes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that part is on my list. And I'll be writing them down. Like, I don't have to scratch them out. Like, That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. The older I get, I'm like, oh, You're like, wait a minute, are you doing this yet? Let me wipe this one out. I think I said that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. Um, Cognac, you seem to be so eager. No, I'm not I'm not going for it. Michael is oh, okay. 
<laughs> no, Mike can start off. He's, he's the, uh, the chief. He's the executive this producer. This is why he's going to leave us when he gets famous. You see? He's the executive you producer. Gave, you gave him all the fame. <laughs> yes, I give him his props. <laughs> well, you know, I, I come here yeah. to get away from structure. And, <laughs> you know, just want to relax and go with the flow. Yeah. Don't have to put labels on people and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And this guy, Kanye, <laughs> this guy, <laughs> that treat guy, me, treat me like I'm some Mister Negative. He either <laughs> negative. He either telling me, "Are you going to introduce the episode?" Yeah, calling me like he's telling the executive you producer. Yeah. yeah, if you want to go, go. You know, my grandfather. <laughs> you know what he was really good at? But, Giving people titles. Yeah. yeah. Never raises titles. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, because you didn't give me a raise. Fine, I'll go first. Yeah. Um, Geico was forced to pay five point two million dollars to a woman who caught an STD mm. having sex in her partner's Hyundai. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Wait. She claimed he didn't tell her he had HPV when they had sex in his car, and Geico has been ordered to pay five point two million. Or that. What? what the woman? How? The woman. I mean, they haven't it, quit. God bless America. America. Yeah, wait, the, the woman. Um, she's. They aren't naming their names yet until everything's cleared. You know, the appeals and everything. Is it Johnny Depp and Anda? No. Heard again? Um, she claims she contracted it after having unprotected sex in her partner's 2014 Hyundai Genesis. First of all, you know you probably are gonna get something in that. In a Genesis. <laughs> And the Missouri Court of Appeals con- just confirmed the insurance company is financially liable. Wow, I'm moving to Missouri now. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm, I, I, it, caught uh, I caught some. I caught some. <laughs> it's, I was gonna say it's funny until they, until they make wow. the law. Until they make a law, she might win it. It's no, she like already a, won. Oh, she did. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They denied her claims, and she asked for a million, and oh. they said no, or she, not even a million. She asked for less. And they said no, basically, because that's what I would say. Like, how is that my problem? But it was when like you're the, insured, you're insured. You got to cover everything. <laughs> yeah, it was like the coffee with the woman from McDonald's. I wasn't, you know, she. So why was it so know, much? Um, court fees. Court fees, no. pain and suffering, a lifelong thing. HPV is not curable. Oh. So, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn, I'm about to get it. <laughs> no, I think men are carriers already. Or something like that. Yeah, men, men don't have the symptoms from it. Everyone That's can right. have it. Women get symptoms. That's right. Yeah. So, I am in awe of anyways, that. Anyway, she was able to prove that he knew he had it mm-hmm. and gave it to her. And so she's got $5.2 million coming towards her. Damn. Yeah. So be careful what you're doing in your car when you got the itchy itch, I guess. Mm. I'm not going to say what I'm going to do on there, but I got something for him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, God, God don't pay that bill. That's a good insurance company. Right. 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 But everybody premium finna pay for her. That's yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Very true. Yeah. Very true. <laughs> Damn, bitch. God, you we read have, your story. We spent the last I, I know, of our I lives. Know, we I, deserve I know they, some. <laughs> I better not stop seeing the guy called commercials because I love them because they we can't afford commercials no more. We gotta pay this fucking bill. <laughs> <laughs> and as far as I know, I, I don't like the those that commercials. That lizard don't have pockets in him, so. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I guess he got a, like debit. I don't know. That 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 lizard smooth as hell. He got that James Bond voice now, so. Yeah. I don't know with this bill, they gonna the they gonna I've seen, they I've seen, gonna. I've seen the lizard in his little coat. That's where he keeps mm-hmm. his little. Money, That's where it money, money to pay all that yeah. shit. It's pistol. That's what he is in Texas. I ain't even like tripping off of that. Yeah, that's crazy, right? You know how many women probably got HPV in a fucking car? Mm. <laughs> mm. They should have got it in Missouri. Uh, <laughs> in Ohio, too, I'm sure. I don't know. Jeez. I didn't check up on all the laws. I was just like, what the hell? Okay. In every state. Cool. I mean... You're bad though. You know, for knowingly having something and giving. And I, yeah. That's oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You're, you're an ass for she that. She goes through his ass too. Yeah. You know, I heard something actually. Speaking of that, how back if you were like an '80s kid, '90s kid, you know, HIV and AIDS was like, oh shit, they got that. And, you know, it was a big deal. You know. It still and, is. No, I know. Uh-huh. I know. It's, but I'm telling you to this generation now, like within their 20s, it's not anymore. 
because of like the medication you can take technically if you well, yeah, catch it. That's, that's kind of any. Yeah. 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 No, I know. It's called but progress of I, science. I know, but I'm just saying, like, if you were to tell a new newer generation about like that but you know back in the day it was like a scary thing shit in the 70s and 60s yeah. gonorrhea was killing my baby yeah, yeah. Sure. thank you for yeah. science yeah what the hell thank you how, God. Al Capone died of gonorrhea right thank you God, for science no 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 uh -huh. Al Capone he had um, cancer liver disease or some mm -hmm. shit some he went crazy there was a mafia mafia person yeah. I don't know oh. but you're not getting yeah. it right and I don't need them he to had try syphilis. to get us right syphilis yeah, he had syphilis and he went crazy he lost his mind yeah yeah so I'm gonna do my Science. I'm gonna do my current event. Are you doing a current event? Say that again. You, you doing the current event? No, she didn't do any right. research. She's just empty. All right, so I'm gonna do one on today, history. Today in history. Yes. All right. Today in history, in 1692, the first execution resulting from the Salem witch trials in Massachusetts took place as Bridget Bishop was hanged. So today it wasn't the burning; it was hanging. Yeah, that's what make people misconstrue. Mm -hmm. They either burned, hanged, or, or drowned. Yeah, but he's saying it was the first, hang first, yeah. first one. Yeah, yeah, first execution of, of that was a hang. Wow. Yeah, no, it's yeah. interesting to know that actually. That's what I'm saying. June tenth. Yeah. 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 Today. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. What year? Not sixteen ninety two. Sixteen ninety two. That's one place I actually. She was visit. probably just Same an one? exceptional bitch, but. Yeah. They couldn't you can take actually it. see a lot of stuff out she there. Probably, she probably just talked too much. She about probably, yes, she probably, probably said, just talked too much about she, in that year. She probably said, I'm tired of these motherfucking biscuits. She probably, <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I ain't making this shit. Yeah. And it was like, <laughs> like let's kiss what, a fucking chicken. We, we go what do some biscuits. Yeah. We go do some yeah. chicken. She probably said, yeah. fuck this dress. I want some pants. Look, I'm going to say rest in <laughs> peace to her because yeah. I, I feel like that's just, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm tired of these dresses and all of these fucking laces and these right? boots. Right? This motherfucking corsets. This thing tight. I can't breathe. Only a witch can't breathe in the right? yeah. yeah. I technically think they were corsets there. I think they just used to wear long black garbs. <laughs> no. Okay. No, he out. said that so that serious, too. Were you at the Wizard of Oz? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, yes, they do you did. Okay, do you realize? Okay, we didn't stop wearing corsets until <laughs> like, like 1920, 20s, 20s, yeah, 20s, yeah. or something. <laughs> <laughs> because every, they thought not every area wore like corsets and stuff. Like no, that. yes. Did you did you watch Yellowstone oh. in 1862 with me? Or did, well, they were, it's 1862. Right? Those weren't corsets. Yeah. Those were yeah. like bulletproof vests. Okay, sir. <laughs> Arrow stompers. <He's, laughs> he was he was his ass in 1692 was hanging people in bl all black too. Like, oh my know. goodness! Excuse me. <laughs> 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 you wow. Know, you don't even know we were still wearing corsets. We're still oh. wearing them to this day. It's called a bra. <laughs> okay. Well, that's. By choice now, I guess. I don't know. Jeez. But that being yeah, said, it's get, hung, get hung if you get caught in the streets, bro. <laughs> right? That's a witch. That's yeah. a witch. <laughs> look, look at her just letting it all hang. Yeah. yeah. I, I have to look that up because I, I just remember. Let me tell you where I'm getting this. I love okay. this mansplaining. So, yes, no, I'm ahead. not mansplaining anything. Um, my mom's really into American history, so I don't. You don't know that. But that being said, she was really like, for some reason, she had to go to see Philadelphia and the history and Salem and all that stuff and the Amish which I have a story about that yeah and, we're gonna keep it moving but but we went to see like Paul Revere's house and like stuff like that she was really in American history and like I said I heard about the Salem witch trials and stuff like that I just don't remember like I just remember them saying that they used to wear dark black Robes with you know things. I don't know about the corsets. I could be wrong. I don't know. You're absolutely wrong, and I'm telling you. Okay, I don't know. Okay, but I just remember them. Cool. All the old, all the old pictures and stuff. They were just wearing long black. It's garments. underneath their garments. I know. That's why I said I'm not. I didn't say they were wearing fucking dominatrix fucking outfits. It's all under the clothes, under those dresses. Even if they were like form fitting dresses or not, they wore corsets. Okay, fine. For your end, so the I'm dominatrix honestly. corsets are really comfortable. Okay, yeah. cool for you. Yeah, yeah, all right, great, like, great for you. Thank um, you. Snowy tea. <laughs> <laughs> you, you could be wrong. They. they Okay, can you uh, women's feet together? So, uh, no, we're not. Yeah. Shit like that. Yeah, you're you're absolutely wrong. So go ahead. 
Okay, I'll have to, Your turn. Re- I'll have to research it. Good. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> man, so anyways, I was going to get to this. Everybody can relate to this, I think, unless you're maybe... What's the current event? The current events is the gas prices. I mean, at this point, it's cheaper to just buy it, coat, snort it, and run around town. <laughs> I mean, you ain't lying. I'm dead serious. That's fucking hilarious. I yeah. mean, you think them coke prices ain't cool? <laughs> I guess yeah. the transport. They yeah. transport the coke. Yeah. I, don't yeah. Know. Yeah. I don't know. Oh my gosh. I haven't checked lately, but on GTA, it's a lot cheaper. Hmm. <laughs> so that was my, yeah. I um used to be able to fill up the girl's car for like 30, 40 bucks, and now I spend about eighty. I mean, yeah, double basically. So it's like, and she drives a pretty fuel efficient vehicle. So yeah, he has to fill up my car because I'm his Uber driver most of the week. Well, but that's why you are. We're going to the same location. Why wouldn't we go together? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to throw that out there. It's not. Like I drive your. I drive you. I drive your car, and we go when we go too. It's not like you always drive me, like I'm some eighty year old man. I'm talking about during the week to I know. work. You, when have you driven my car with me to work? I have. One time. No, more okay. than that. All right, agree to Maybe disagree. Maybe twice. But. but yeah, these gas prices is real high. Real high. Like. Can I chime nope. in also about something like that? But you at least work from home. Just Milk. Like. Milk? Milk. Milk. <laughs> it grosses me out to even buy it at this price. How much is milk? Literally, we like really the cheapest milk, one so. is like about four sixty nine oh, a shit. gallon. Yeah, groceries are high too. I we don't drink milk, so it's in really Colorado. Hard. I really it's pay attention. Much harder than that. Deuces. Yeah. Right. Well, no, it was funny when we first moved there. Everything like that, like that meat, was Hawaii meat. prices oh, back Hawaii. then. Oof, Hawaii is worse than that. Yeah, but but when we moved from Texas to Colorado, meat was so much higher. Uh, dairy. Anything dairy, Less butter, farms. cheese, any of that. Less farming. True. Yeah. yeah. Because I have to bring it in from Texas. <laughs> yeah, but these groceries are just high, too. Mm-hmm. I'm not I'm about to have to get an OnlyFans for my feet. Man, yeah. I agree. Yeah. I mean, my All toes good. are always polished, I guess. True story. <laughs> what is True your story. tournament, Tequila? It's on me again. It okay. is. I went. Didn't I? Not the second part. Oh. Okay, I got another one here. See, I actually have paperwork. I do too. Back. Just th- this, just then. Yeah. <laughs> you said this, just <laughs> then. <laughs> All right. So um, this was this week. A caterpillar worker dies after falling into two thousand six hundred degree molten iron on first week on the job. Dang. Are you sure he didn't do a so Terminator? He was style? only 39 years old Holy and crap. he stumbled into the vat of molten iron. And he died instantly, but it basically like cut him in half. Part of his body remained on the deck and the rest just went in the iron. And that's I was just like. Holy fucking shit, if that's not some Final Destination shit, rest in peace, sir. My god. R.I.P., yeah. but that sounds like some Scorpion Mortal Kombat. Type yeah, that too. Fatality. I was just that's like, the shit that you make what? in movies. Yes. Final Destination, the movie. And then, like, you just sit there and you just look at him and be like, is yeah. he going to come back, like, half, like you said, Terminator, yeah. half, you know, what the fuck? Yeah, that's really sad. Wow. That sucks because. Rest in peace, sir, for real. In my profession, I, I would have to... I was thinking about Investigate you. that. Yeah. I was thinking... Really? I actually, yeah. when I read it, thought, damn. I, Mike would have like, Mike would have had to see that. Like, you know, that for real? Yeah. Course, yeah. He's yeah. the safety guru. That's true. Not the guru, but, you know. Okay, yeah. look, I didn't want to give you yeah. titles, because yeah. he was giving you so I just called you the safety guru. <laughs> Director. No, no. <Mike>. The... <laughs> Anyways, no, you remember what happened that... The one time at our place, and we were like in shock. Like, what could have happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I, we're not talking about yeah. that. Yeah. I just, it was just the manner of dying. I'm just like, That's can just, you imagine you're at work, you just trip and boom. Like, instantly. Yeah. Like, hey, dude, what were you taking for a lip? Yeah. Crazy. You, wow. see, you see the old 1900 pictures when the boys would be standing on them beams? 
and stuff when they were building like the Chrysler Tower. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, yeah, when, yeah. When the women were at home wearing their corsets. Yeah. Uh-huh. While well, they were knitting and waiting for their husbands to get off of work. Yeah. <laughs> they were they were building the Empire State Building. Yeah. yeah. And they got one where they built the San San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So my whole week was about fall protection. And that was, they start always start on that note right there because that's a famous picture. Yeah. Yeah, how they were up there without being secure. I would be nauseous. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Couldn't do that. Uh, yeah. So I'm nauseous coming up here. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> do you think people like, okay, I understand that maybe back then they didn't, probably didn't have like a way to report all the accidents that they happened. Did. Really? They had more unions back then. So, yeah. I'm going to tell you a spill about OSHA. Yes. Oh, God. It's young. No, I'm just going to say that it's young. It's only been around since 1973. Right, right. 72, 73. So, prior to that, um, we, we, the jobs were based, basically, uh, our bid, basically, based on how many people they assume. Really? We're going to die. You know what I'm saying? So, if I... Yeah. I got a job, I need 30 people, uh, 10 of these 30, well, 7 of these 30 people going to die, so I need to hire 37 people, but I'm going to yeah, charge you this much because we know at least 7 people going to die, so the server, Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not laughing. Like, bro, I'm like, laughing, that, that's, I mean, that's wow. kind of, kind of worst case scenario, but that's how it was. Especially in the construction industry. Yeah. But yeah. Like, but yeah. for them, there's still people <laughs> yeah. that then they're buried in it. I mean, so <laughs> if you had a job, you just expected people to die or lose limbs, you know, to get hurt. Because of human error. True. Yeah. And but see, that's where I'm getting at. Driven. It's like the human error. I think yeah. so many people have put so many rules at work or certain precautions which I understand is to save people's lives, but I think people are just overly thinking, thinking like, mm, yeah. I know that I'll be protected if, yeah. but shit like that, that's horrible. That yeah, is people horrible. People still have to make decisions. Cheers yeah, to you if you have to investigate something like that. Yeah. Yeah. My, oh. A lot of people like, uh, you know, how you always say, like, I'm less productive if you're standing over me. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And I, you know, I've had that. I'll just stop working. I mean, yeah, I'm, me too, I'm in an office like building, yeah. so it's not obviously yeah, the same. Like but when you're room. hovering yeah. over me, I'll just stop. That's, that's me. Like, if you're, yeah. like, waiting for me to get something done, I'll literally just that's, stop. That's what I'll do. Like, I'll be, like, in the middle of an email, and I'll have a certain you, person, my name and no name. They'll just come stand over me, and what are you doing? And I'll just close my phone, and get, you know. Yeah. Because I'm not going to write this email how I want Because not to time. boast my toot my own horn, I'm the fastest person in there as far as like billing and stuff. So if you're like standing over me to rush me, I'm Get not going to slow it all the way down. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Anyways, what's your current event? So my current event is similar to the one that the girl had. Uh, I don't know if y'all heard, but yesterday... Two workers fell into a chocolate tank at M M&M and M factory. Oh no! I heard about yeah. that. I heard about and, that. And, and 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 passed away. Yeah. How hot was that chocolate? Hot. It was. And you know the secret uh, secret. You know what I'm saying? It's like, chocolate chocolate make me feel sexy. I'd have died sexy to the motherfucker. Oh my god! I'd have been eating the shit out of that chocolate. And <laughs> and, 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 uh, just think the tank out there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god! Coming out like the green M&M. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Death by chocolate. Yes. <laughs> wow, that sucks. That sucks. And so. where did that happen? Especially if you used to, because when I've heard when where, you work for like M and M's, you get free M and M's. Can you imagine? Yeah. Just yeah. being in love with M and M's and the thing that kills you. I heard. Mm. I know. It's I know. Funny. It's all. It's all the same region. Yeah, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Town. Yeah. Yeah. Liberty Town. Elizabeth Town. Elizabeth Town. Yeah. That's uh, Massachusetts, mm-hmm. right? Yep, there it is. Massachusetts. Why do shit happen it's over there? Massachusetts, it's because of them witches that aren't wearing corsets under all that black. Right, yes. their yes. ghost is up there yeah. and everything. <laughs> shit. Yeah, y'all keep talking. That's right. That's right. That's what we do. No, they didn't wear corsets. No, yeah, they I just. Did, I didn't. I don't. They just wore tennis shoes. I didn't see them. They didn't tennis die. Tennis laces. They didn't. They die. didn't die. Well, that's good. 
They didn't uh, They just sexy. You know, they just feeling sexy. <laughs> too sexy for every fucking thing. Yeah, right? they. They said, uh, <laughs> and, uh, they're, and they're now black. Yeah, too, <laughs> Did they start out black? <laughs> I'm too sexy. I'm too sexy for uh, emergency responders. They did. <laughs> 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 I, heard, I heard they didn't die, but it's going to be a special edition M M&M. and M. <laughs> they're standing in the camera. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> like this. I'm dead. I, no, I can't. I'm not even. No. Put mm-hmm. the chocolate cures out. Um, easy, uh, easy healing for you, gentlemen. Mm. Mm. That sucks. Mm. Yeah, okay. But they won't eat no more chocolate after mm. that, though. Chocolate. To I'm just these two how they're just talking about it like these foods just really fell in chocolate me and you are like oh my Ow. god like oh. did you ever watch Willy Wonka I oh did boy, I sucked up the two. but you know what they, those okay I'm not even gonna say this no I am gonna say it cause fuck <clears throat> You're, you can curse me <laughs> fuck them kids and I have kids <laughs> fuck them kids respectfully and uh, respectfully fuck them kids them oh, well, kids deserve to to drink out the fountain exactly yeah. and the, his the mom river, honey yeah. I would have punched the shit out of his Jean mama Jim Alder just was watching him like this man I would have pushed her ass to look at your ass in there for being a dumbass Jim Alder was looking at like him like I was looking at the man when she told me to clean my office okay <laughs> <laughs> whatever what's your current event Kanye. Oh, my current event is, uh, oh, so it was a birthday yesterday, I heard, randomly, uh, Johnny Depp. I guess he turned 69 yesterday. Hey. Johnny Depp, he got old. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think so either. He sounds it. I didn't think he was. Boy, well, he does. I mean, that's pretty good for doing what supposedly he 69 years. Not supposedly, he said he did stuff, it. Whatever, yeah. <laughs> I was I was actually shocked about that yeah, information. I, even like just watching the clips of it, like you know, hopefully that was truthful, whatever the outcome. But listening to him talk was painful. It, it was. Hurt, it hurt my head. I was just like, like I was like, I don't know if I'm listening to is Captain this you sober. Sp- yeah, like wow. What's the applaud for? Johnny Depp's win. Okay, good for him for yeah. winning. I just yeah. said yeah. I literally couldn't hang out with somebody who talked that yeah. odd so and I, slow. I agree. Yeah, that's all. I have an insight on that. Um, so, uh, who's the guy? Shoot, I forgot. Yeah, you would have never known John Depp unless Tim Burton. Tim Burton. You know, he made Edward Tilson hands, yeah. right? Yeah. Johnny Depp was on 21 Jump Street or something. Way before. Way yeah, before way that. before yeah. that. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Richard, my yeah. Yeah. Yes. The movie. No, no, the show. The show. show. Yeah, I didn't watch it. And then they, oh, they yeah. replaced yeah. him with that oh, Richard. Yeah, yeah. Richard. yeah. Oh, and he yeah. and he was in Nightmare on Elm Street before. Yeah. No, uh, yeah. Nightmare, yeah. Nightmare on Elm Street. I remember him. That was before Edward. Yeah, he got yeah. pulled yeah. into the waterbed. But he was that. doing Twenty One Jump Street way before that. Fine, yeah. whatever. <laughs> Tim Burton. Oh, he did not wear a corset. Fuck your facts. I will tell you, he did not wear a corset. Corsets. You were gonna say he was wearing a corset in Twenty One Jump Street. But anyway, what's your point? That's what y- y'all earn. Her, uh, what's her name? Amber Heard was dog dude Both accusing the poor man and stuff. Mm-hmm. Man, Amber Heard used to be on my list, still on my list. So, oh yeah, I always like Amber Heard. I, heard. I, I, I mean, I guess liked. if you have separated the houses where she could poop in her own bed. <laughs> I mean, I, could, I, I just can't take one thing and just ruin somebody over one fucking incident. That, I mean, people are people. He was a, make mis- I'm you don't take know. A shit your and you don't know if he pulled it out and she just like on. Uh, she could have had a, a incident like um, on that movie. Um, I the hall pass. I, I feel like I don't think that she shit in the bed. Yeah. I think that the dog sh- shit. But she put it in the pillow. That's what I think. Just just from the diameter of the said shit that they showed, it doesn't seem like... Or he could have pulled out of her bottle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, anyways... Um, That's no, the power of a suction and pressure. You'll actually... You'll, you'll, like, where, you'll like where I'm going. <laughs> I can't. Oh, my God. I can't. Um, <laughs> gases, gases are my... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. I've never thought I'd say this, but Tequila, can we lose the cognac for a second? Oh my god. Yes. Can we switch conversations? Yes. What, Is what this in regards what? to what he was going to say? No, I thought you, okay. you were, what were like you this, saying? This segment, actually. I'm scared. No, it's not. Yeah. Uh, yes. um, 
so Tim Burton, they recently interviewed him, and I think yes. he'd like his response to this. So they, they asked him, you know, he was the original one that did the original Batman. Mm-hmm. Michael Keaton and mm-hmm. made him more dark and made him. We know everything. Tim Burton. Okay. Yeah, we know. Fine. But made him more dark and everything. Right. And then, so they asked him, How do you feel about this one being dark? And he goes, I was fired for doing that. Yeah. Basically, he said. But then they went and put nipples on the Batman outfit. So yeah. <laughs> that was all. Uh-huh. He, he, that was recent in the news that he said that. They just asked him, Cool. How do you feel about being dark? Yeah. yeah. Well, he's about to do a dark uh, Wednesday show, and it's going to be on Netflix from the Adams Family. He I'm did watch a Carpenter show, didn't he? Huh? Mm-hmm. The cartoon that Harper used to watch like, all the time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Dark. Coraline. Coraline. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. He did. No, well, yeah, I don't he think did, he did um, Coraline. I think he did. No, he did. Nightmare Before Christmas. Or he, Coraline. he helped the Corpse Bride. The Corpse Bride. Corpse Bride. Yes. Yeah. Which yeah. I love. Corpse Bride. He did. Yeah. You know how to watch that. A few times to understand it. I was like, he it's really good. Is like, he's, what the he's fuck? got a crazy, brilliant mind. Yes, so yes. I know the shit's a little too weird, but I like Corpse Bride more than Nightmare on Before Christmas. All right, was it my turn? <laughs> yes, yeah. me. Okay. A woman woke up from a five-month coma to discover her fiance had ghosted her and moved in with someone else. An Australian woman. <laughs> I love Jackie's face. She's like, fuck this motherfucker already. Like, a, an Australian woman who was left in a coma for five months after a freak accident woke up and her fiancé no longer was. Uh, Bree Duval, 25, was living in Canada. She fell from the top of a 33-foot retaining wall near a rooftop bar. Sounds like she's rich from that. Landed headfirst on the concrete. Um, and suffered two separate brain bleeds, broken back ribs, teeth, and was placed on life support in a medically induced coma, unable to breathe on her own. Doctors gave her a 10% chance of survival, but survived she did. Much to the apparent surprise of her fiancé of four years. Um, Basically, uh, literally, he never visited her one day in the hospital. Um... (laughs) It happened. He said, fuck that, I guess. Um, The only contact she got and still has gotten is from his new girlfriend. Um, You okay, mate? Yeah. So. What the fuck? (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god, this bitch um, needs a hug. She's completely recovered. Um, Good for her. She has and waist down, etc., etc. She's what? She's completely recovered. She's able to walk on her own and Good everything now. Her. Like she's a complete miracle story. But I'm glad, she, I'm glad she didn't marry him because it was till death do us part. Netflix, he die. You fell, and he said bye. Netflix hashtag I fell. He yeah. said bye. Let me get rich. Yeah, yeah. What the? Could be a documentary. Man, that is insane. That I mean, okay, I will be realistic. If the doctors gave her ten percent chance. Yeah, but you were still going to visit and say bye. Well, yeah. That's that's what I was for a little bit. Oh, well, you know, that part kills yeah, me. That part kills me. Thinking. Like, yeah. Because I thought he was... Give it a while. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, if he visited and, you know, the doctor has said, well, you know, 10% chance, all right, well, cool, whatever, deuces. I'll still take care of the bullshit, whatever. But when you said he didn't visit her once, boo-boo, he had already that side piece. Mm-hmm. He might have pushed her. She might want to investigate. Mm-hmm. She might already, he might already mm-hmm. have this he, other girlfriend. Know you know what, the other they girlfriend were, probably went to go put butter, they were butter on the rooftop bar, bar like, to slip like and that slide. Bitch. <laughs> Move to the side. He said, "Go eat some shrimp on the. Was it an Australian? Shrimp on the bobby. Shrimp on the bobby. Downstairs. Downstairs. <laughs> or on. And Johnny Depp's defense. Oh my gosh. She was rubbing, <laughs> rubbing on some guy, and he did that too. Of so Johnny Depp. Of he course she would. Of course she would emasculate that one. Yeah. 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 He don't need no help in his defense. He won't. Just, you gonna make him open that shit back up and let the man get his money first. <laughs> <laughs> She can't even pay. She can't afford it. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm just joking. Fifty still trying to get his money from some tiki too. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, tequila. Was it you? Or, yeah. Yeah. So due to the restrictions and potential restrictions in regards to abortions, um, new abortion clinics are now open near borders and airports. Mm-hmm. To stretch access 
as far as it will go. Yeah. Good for those people. Yeah. 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 That's current event. Yeah. Well, yeah. current event. I have a recently. Well, I was, we were still oh, talking about yeah. it. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. What do you think about that, Jack? Mm-hmm. As a woman, you know, because it's your body, you know, your choice. Yeah. You know, it's pretty sad and pathetic mm-hmm. that they have to get to the extremes to open clinics near airports near and if you think about it the property there is probably going to be up and yep. skyrocketing yeah. so those fees that women they, had able to get through medical yeah now they have to re, you know take out a second mortgage and shit and know? then you know i think about the borders that yeah. i've crossed yep. you yeah you know I ain't shit around a, a border you it know what i'm saying so I always think about yeah, Louisiana, are, Louisiana, and Texas border. I wouldn't go there mm-hmm. very to get an abortion. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because that's down there in the swamps. Yeah. That I'm in. If you think about Texas and Louisiana, the, the state border. It's a shame. Yeah. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, you guys are so worried about a uh, mass in a woman's stomach, uh, mm. but not worried about the children that are here. We can't even feed them fucking formula right now. There are record homeless children, record children in foster care. Um, Our foster care system is shit. Uh, That's why a lot of people don't get why Americans go overseas to adopt kids because you make it so hard to take care of the kids here. Here. Um, But you're worried about putting more kids in, but not protecting the kids that are already here. Mm-hmm. So fuck y'all. Don't let me talk that's about that foster kids. Yeah. That's I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. So fuck y'all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's one of the and all their fetus duty. is more important than a grown child. Exactly. That's, that's a big, one of the biggest hustles around. Yeah. Yeah. Foster so, kids. You know, make they, it make sense to me. You they, want you want to force people to have children and we have them here and you're not taking care of them. Mm-hmm. So... But it's okay because they have private doctors to take care of all their little mishaps. In- including abortions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And keep them under the table. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Fucking yeah. dumbasses. What's Did you want to say something? No, I said I, I, don't, I don't agree with uh, most people are forced to have kids. I mean, you, like I said, I, I, you know, I'm torn on the situation. I've kind of been, you know, when a woman, you know, obviously is raped or like, you know, incest thing, you know, she should obviously have that right. Right. Now, me personally, I just believe that if you make a a bad decision, everybody got to make up their bed at the end of the day. I'm sorry. So if you made a bad decision by sleeping mm-hmm. with a girl, it, at the end of the day, she woke up and looking like Helga. Like I said. You going to stay with her? I'm a different type of dude. I just don't. Okay, like, you're a different I just type don't of dude. Like, you're, you're a different type of dude, but there's but there's but there's more of the other types. Okay, there's more of the other types. So I was in a relationship. Okay. I was in a, in a relationship. I was in love, and she was in love, and she got pregnant. But you know, she was in school. Mm-hmm. She had her lined out, and a baby would have interrupted that, and on her, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, and. I'm like, I'm for it. Yeah. I take care of it. If yeah. you have it, don't want it, I still take care of it. But it's up to you. I'm going to support you regardless. You know what I'm saying? And she got an abortion. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I took her to get the abortion. And I, it's nothing I'm proud of, but the choice was hers. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And she, I wasn't just laying dick. You know what I'm saying? Or, right, right. You know what I'm saying? This was, I was in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? We were in a relationship. Together, you we gave made her that a choice option. together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because. At the end of the day, she it, did her choice and you just. It wasn't planned. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you love and dumb. I mean, you're young, dumb, and in love. So you're not using protection and you're doing things and yeah. things happen. Mm. You know, shit happened. But I, I ain't no type of dude to just lay pipe and random motherfuckers and, and push them to an abortion clinic. Right. You know what I'm saying? We was in a relationship. And we made a, 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 a decision that affected both of our lives. What yeah. a mature way yeah. to express that. Yep. Yep. No, and like I said, not, and that's fine. And no get- man on this planet is a fucking judge. If you believe in your religion, you're not the judge. So why are you guys keep judging I don't care. You know, I'm somebody who would love to have a child mm-hmm. right now. 
but do you know how hard it is for me to go adopt one? But you are okay with, um, we'll say, mentally unstable women that are crackheads. They just happen. Have have, they can't yeah. afford to fly to the Mexico border or whatever. And just, that, that's okay. Uh-huh. And that they can just keep popping out children. And then the Put people the that, want, that okay. want a child can't even adopt the child. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just say mind your fucking business. And if God didn't want it, he'll handle it later. <laughs> Woo. Preach on that. No, I was... My, you know, uh, all I was going to say was on that note is, um, you know, the problem is it, they're, they're, it's like, it's sad to say it like that, but it's like they're pushing it where it's like damn near, damn near when the kid's born. And they're like, yeah, just fucking kill they're it. They're not pushing that's it. That's not the truth. No. That's not the truth, okay. Rob. That's, that's what you're hearing is being pushed. That's not the truth. It's not. As a woman who knows a lot of women and their stories, mm-hmm. that is not the truth. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. sorry. They keep pushing for terms and terms. Of and, and as a man, like, by law, they who, who took somebody to have one um, and watched a, a, a woman make that decision. It's that's one of the hard, hardest this decisions I've ever for I told you to make. Like, yes. I don't give a fuck if she's walking the str- walking the street. I told you. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. a hard fucking decision. Yeah. I told to you that I went to a college yeah. with a girl like that. Stop trying to fucking yeah. control that our fucking like, bodies. Said that was one of We're the not worst. your fucking concubines. We're not. You can just come put your dick in us and and then go about your merry business, and we maybe may may get some child support. Like if that's our decision, that's our fucking decision. And, and I, I was like also I a person fine. who grew up, you know, in my own beliefs where I thought too, like, well, that's shitty. You know, you go get an abortion just because you didn't put on a condom or didn't take your birth control or whatever. And I grew up that way, you know, and I grew up in Christian school, too. Yeah. Um, but the more I thought about it is, my God is the judge. Like, who the fuck am I supposed to be judging people? You know, I do that's a whole like lot of shit. Yeah, so, you know, God, anybody, God's, just, God, says, God says don't have sex before marriage. Yeah. That period. So, so are and you going to now, are you gonna now start... Uh, throwing people in jail for not fucking before marriage? Like, stop the, picking and, and choosing what you think you can control on behalf of God. Mm-hmm. Go mm-hmm. fuck yourselves. Mm-hmm. Okay. Go fuck yourselves. No. Like, right now, okay, sorry, no. for instance, in, in Texas, we just had a whole fucking mass shooting, and guess what they put on the docket for us? That children can't go to drag shows. What? Do you know how many churches have more fucking sexual predation over fucking a drag show at brunch? Mm. An art form? It's an art form. What, it's always it's been an art form. It's a beautiful art form. Yeah. yeah. Like, are wait you kidding minute, me? Wait, are you kidding me? Wait a minute. Me? Yeah. Wait a minute. In Dallas you're talking about? Texas. No, in Texas. Yeah, in Dallas. They're banning... The um, children going to drag shows? In yeah. Texas. Yeah. yeah. Not and Dallas. you're... All, you're you have a problem with that? Yes. Yeah, because with yeah, because I'm sticking I'm, dollar bills because and I'm, drag queens. Because oh, have, have you been to a drag show? No, but I've seen like a model show. Yeah. Okay, then you you don't know yeah. how you don't you know. know let me let me that. tell you why I extremely have a problem with it. I have a problem with it because we have kids that are getting buried this week because they've a fucking gun. And you're worried about a fucking dude yeah. in his fucking clothes doing art. And, and cops sat there and listened and oh, cops sat there and listened to the gun. Of course doctor. you saw what you saw. They were I saw pictures from the news. At, at the, so at have the you room. put oh. in a dollar in their thongs? No. Then it that really doesn't happen. And Just and so I've, never, I've never this, this I've the, never this is the problem. They normally what they do. This is the problem with the world. Right wow. there. So we have too it's many. A, uh, the mm-hmm. ankle lick itself. I remember the neon sign. I saw pictures of it. People, okay. There was a parent taking pictures of it. Oh, okay. And it was like, it ain't going to lick itself. They had a neon oh, sign. Oh. You think kids should be exposed to that shit? So this is the I problem. I think kids should be able to go to school and not get shot the, the fuck up. Are you for I real? think kids should be able to go I'm to school okay. and the, poli- okay. and the and police, the and the, and the police the officer shouldn't be scared of going into a school with a, a guy with a gun. That's this, what this, I think. This, this, That's what I think is more this, important. This, this, and if you don't want your child to go, then don't go. Okay. Why is it against the law? If that's what you should not choose for your child, cool. All right. So this this that's is what's wrong. But that's what we're worried about right now. Okay, Rob, 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 Rob seen one picture. That's yeah. not mom. Posted. I saw mo- multiple. Okay, pictures. Rob seen multiple pictures yeah. in a world of over a billion, a, a, a nation with over a billion people. 
You know what I'm saying? Like he saw the RuPaul one. Like he said, he not the the type of dude. We take one fucking picture, one narrow ass picture. I didn't see one. And and, and, or we take multiple narrow. How many did you see? How many people in the United States? A lot. Okay, did you see a lot of and pictures? And there are drag shows. Because where that well, no, does but this, this, this is what I'm saying. And they express that what, it's going to be shit. Like that there's not yes. kids. Here's the there's thing. There's different types of drag shows. There I is. Yeah. There is. And then if you're not going to them, then how do you know? So it's lawmakers. Kids. How do you know lawmakers? The lawmakers are the ones that the ones with the G strings. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm overnumbered on this. I guess it's not it's over. It's, 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 it's not overnumbered. Common, like, I want you can't. My kid to go. Cool. But, they but, don't. But That's you, what I Then don't. You you label it. But no, why is it a law? You label it. Then don't. You label a show. Oh, is not. I don't. I don't they, want my kid. They to, did it. I don't want my kid to go to the Catholic Church because the the statistics say that they're going to get fucked fucked and fingered there. But we're there. not Catholic, so that doesn't even make sense. And you're not in the drag. You're not a drag. Sorry. So why why if you're not in the drag why is that sorry, even a concern? Sorry to, sorry to Catholic people that wasn't a diss. Oh, I, I was. Saying, you know you I went to Catholic school. Yes, you yes, went, yes, you yes, know I went to all that shit. Exactly. And, we know how yeah, that is. Yeah. And yeah. Statistics speak. So all, like, I, all I say we 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 focus on we focus on a negative and come up. So are you against? I'm having why expose kids to it? No, are you against having same sex marriage to have kids being adopted? I don't care about that. Never did. But that's kind of in the same vicinity if you think about it. You, there's different types of drag. That's the thing. You, there's different types drag. of drag show now. I've seen, dra- I've been to a drag show. Did you see the picture? Yes, yes, you yes, yes, yes. And you're okay. Okay. Some of them, I thought, I thought they were more taste, they had more taste than Victoria's Secret. <laughs> <laughs> right? You know I mean, I never seen one, but I didn't think they were. Put in dollars in the in little murder. The, the priest had a, pe- a boner. VH, an VH1 played RuPaul that was Drag. The 80s, right? RuPaul Drag show every yeah, month yes. of every other week. Yeah. I, I never watched it's it. It's a but, form you know. of art. Yeah. So what's the difference between having a child exposed to a street artist that paints with airbrush and he looks like he sniffs at the same I'd time? I like my okay, but I I would like them to ban Grand Theft Auto for children then too. Yeah. Because children are going buying guns as soon as they hit eighteen and yeah. shooting up shit, and they desensitize the killer motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Maybe they should have did that before the drag show. I'm just saying because yeah, we're yeah. dealing with an issue right I now here in Texas. We do have yeah. the most or the biggest country for psychological issues. Yeah, and that starts yeah. from yeah. the house. Do you think no, that? You yeah. think you no. think that? It starts you, from the house. They told you that too. So they're, they're, they're going with poverty. Who, who, who came up with poverty? Who came up with those statistics? And big pharma. Who was that? Big pharma. I don't believe. Statistics. We already had that conversation right, yeah, because it's just whoever, whoever, whoever reporting the data. I said, look and and then, let me tell you why. Because mental, you can't put mental behavior in a fucking you can't. statistic. You can't. And can't. by demographic, uh, because no. because humans are humans. Can. So you tell me all four of yeah, us have something yeah, different. Yeah, mentally, hum, mentally hum, wrong with humans us are here. humans. No one, not one fucking human is the same whether they in the United States, Australia, wherever. So it don't matter where the fuck you at if you got mental issues. I'm saying. More I mean that's bullshit. But we also you, don't you have smarter, the medication. Smarter, med- you smarter, mental health care. But you smarter than that. But we kind of. also don't have. God mental damn. health. I said all I could say is what here. statistics say. What fuck that more people the, the, take the, medication for whoever, medical the, the, deficiencies here than anyone else. If they can afford it. And you realize that? If that, they can afford it. And you realize those. And products, you know why they can't afford it? A lot of times have because more. they were forced to have children that they couldn't shouldn't have had in the first place. And do you realize those medications also have a lot of cocaine? Derivatives in them? <laughs> cocaine. Co- just, cocaine. All you're derived. doing is yeah. giving me a whole yeah. bunch of issues yeah, why this country derived. is not great. Cocaine but you're derived. worried about kids going to a drag show. You just gave me four different reasons. <laughs> and you're okay on with that. What the, I'm co- fine what with the, that then. Yeah, because you're okay with you the know, country giving us cocaine in our medicine. <laughs> you're, you're, I, didn't, I didn't say I was okay with that. I never said but you're more, that. But you're acting more passionate you about a drag show. Let me just ask you this. I'm trying to understand this. You're giving me more passion. What do you think is going to happen to a child going to a drag show? I don't know. I, just, but I mean, it's they not might be something. Gay. I don't. It's not that. I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying. What else that, would you would you, would you take Harper to a drag show? If it's age appropriate, yeah. absolutely. Depending on her age, yeah. Okay. 
I've been to them. I've been to a drag brunch. You've been to them as an adult. <laughs> would you take and, it? Would you take I, it to a circus? Would I take it to a circus? Yeah, with clowns. Not the way they treated the elephants. Would, no, <laughs> no, a circus with clowns. The huh? Shriners. They 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 known for their clowns. Men dressing up in makeup. So would you take clowns. her to? No, we, I mean, and, and, and acrobats with. Yeah. The, would you take going them up to their ass? Would yeah. you take them to a circus soleil show? A Cirque du Soleil? Yeah, would you take you your know, kids you know, to you a Cirque You know God dang well we would take Harper to a Cirque du Soleil. To a Cirque du Soleil show. Mm-hmm. What's the fucking difference? Because they had thongs and yeah. everything else. It's art. Okay. It's okay to be wrong. Yeah. It's okay to be wrong? Yeah, yeah. It's so okay. I'm wrong. That's what... Okay. No, I didn't... I, I just said it's okay no, to No, I'm be saying, wrong. but that that's, that's what In you're, my opinion, you're wrong. Your opinion, I mean, Because exactly. you're putting... That's you the thing. heard that, though. You, you would take you Harper that. to certain Cirque du Soleil's that are age-appropriate. Yeah. It's the same thing with Dragons. To me, it's giving... But there are to, certain to me it's Cirque giving me, that it's are giving, age-appropriate. It's okay, actually. and there is Drag Queen's shows that are age-appropriate to children. I'm giving you what? It's giving me homophobia. There Because... Not you. I'm just saying just the law itself. The law itself. It is, yeah. It's it's the man. I know this is how I don't trust. Gonna, I don't. This is how we're. I don't gonna, trust you to take your kids to where I want them to go to. We need them in but Boy Scout or Girl Scout. I trust scout. you to have them. You better have them though. We and I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna, I don't trust the teachers to pick their curriculum. Yep. But you better have kids, and the teachers better strap up. Like so stupid. Mm-hmm. It's the most hypocritical fucking shit ever. Mm-hmm. Anywho, let's move on. Yep. Let's move on. What is your... Uh, Woo! Who, who even brought up to us? I, I did, been, my bad. Oh, no, we didn't <laughs> Shit. Sh- 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 <laughs> and to the guests, or not the guests, the audience, we that do still love loud. each other. That shit we got do loud. still love we each do. other. Very, very We've known each other for a long time. But what I was time. trying to say this is... This is what adults do. Yeah. This is what I'm... What I was trying to say is we can't take one negative and paint oh, a, a whole motherfucking around one negative. The good always outweigh the bad. Absolutely. I, that's why I treat people the way that I do. Because I was taught that as a kid. The good, this person can be horrible. And all I can see is the horribleness in this person. But if I take time, it's probably a lot more good in that person. You know what I'm saying? Than it is horribleness. So I, I, I don't judge people or whatever. And mm-hmm. it's easy to, to focus on the negative. Because that's the way we program. Yeah. And we base laws and opinions and all this kind of shit usually based off of narrow-minded people that focus on the negative. And you hear it, that's why it's good to have discussions because you have discussions and you hear it. Yeah. And, and like like Rob said, he's seen a lot of shows, you know what I'm saying? And it was kids putting money and I guess the transgenders or whatever, the whatever, whatever. Drag queens are Drag queens, queens. yeah, whatever. Most yeah. drag queens are like, they don't consider themselves black. Yeah. They don't consider themselves But what I'm, what I'm saying, so. I can be No, no, no. But, but, but th- th- what I'm saying is we live in a world. We live, not even in a world. gold thong. So the United States is composed. So you're talking about one drag show. The United States. The United States. The United States. It ain't lick itself. They had to be on The United States. through the pictures all like. Okay. For the, a, a six-year-old, really? One, one place. The United States is composed of fifty. Disgusted you yeah. are, but you're not disgusted at the kids that are getting shot up in their schools. When did I not get disgusted about that? The the United States. Why are you putting that on me? Wait, when saying, did I not get how disgusted passionate about you that? are? Because I would be more worried about that right now than the fucking kid at a dra- Dallas drag show f- sticking a dollar in a but dog. But I understand. When did I not get disgusted about he that? He probably left there, went to church on Sunday, and had to stick a dollar in his fucking Pope's fucking you know, bong, too. Like, get get out of here. Who, wait, who F- are you talking about? Who People, left what show? Whoever. Whoever, whoever, whoever posted that and made it a law, that fucking quit. Okay. The Go United, fuck yourself. The, un, the United States is composed of 50 fucking states. 51 if you count Puerto Rico. Right? Mm-hmm. Ain't no telling how many major cities we got. I mean, little cities want to be a major city. You know what I'm saying? And So fuck Alaska and Hawaii, huh? <laughs> I'm fucking they they part of the fifty, dude. Where you go to school at? Huh? They part of the fifty. Okay. Well, I say fifty one if you count Puerto Rico. Yeah. If you count Puerto Rico, fifty one. Alaska. Books. Are yeah, they they part of the fifty. Very important. But uh, anyway, jokes aside, 
you can't go to Dallas and make a fucking rule or paint a whole picture for all 50 fucking states. Dallas is this big. You can put four Dallases in the city of Houston. I mean, we, we focus on some bullshit that was and try point. to push it That's on everybody. That's literally what I was getting at. Well, exactly You're focusing on the wrong thing What do you mean you focus right on bullshit, though? Hold on. Let me ask you this. You focus on bullshit, right? That's what everybody wants to do. Be like, nah, it's okay. No, I'm not saying They'll that. They'll get away with it and then just fucking say, fuck it. They don't care. Let's fucking no. do it everywhere. The church does. Yeah. I'm not so you're anti church. No, no, I no, I can call I'm you, I can call you out on that. Yeah. You call me, you call me anti church. Okay, yeah, he yeah. just said so, the same yeah. thing. I mean, so we're all anti church. Yeah, I'm, I'm anti church. Okay, yeah. like I said, I follow cool. my. Own, you know me. Yeah. You know me. I follow my my own God. Yeah, and I just don't. I find I find it weird. That's all. Yeah, Personally. and God finds it weird that kids keep getting shot up and can't get adopted to you. And that's but you're going that's back to that. no 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 because that's that's the whole, that was my point of, of what that's I said. Purpose and so, the whole point of this is that they are concentrating on bullshit about taking your kid to a drag show versus trying to put security or something to protect our kids. No, they've been focused on both. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lately, they've been lately. What, what about after what these about, babies what, can't what, even make it to what, the next let me grade? Tell you something. What, what about, about, what about all the women? Hold on. What about all the prostitute moms? Thank you. That, 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 that they, they didn't be, want to have the kid. Exactly. They now they have to the suck so they're sucking for the rest of their lives. Exactly. At home. The fuck. No, Rob. No, no, I said since Mike want, wants to talk about the problem, you know, that you, you say like here in America, whatever, you want to talk about that, you know, we've not, this isn't the first school shooting. Americans know, now terrible, and, right? and kids, let me tell you, the, the new generation now and, you know, whatever, they have a six second mind and they're working on that. I have, a 15, I have a 15 year old at home. Yeah. And we have one that's what I'm saying is our, our needs. So they can't tell. They can't. They're not letting an eleven-year-old. I mean, but you, I but you can't. But you can't tell me about a fucking kid when I'm dealing with one. But I go ahead, go ahead. That. You go, you're telling me my kid got a six-second mind. You just say said that. Kid, that's oh, that's what that's what I'm saying. I'm saying you said general. So, you you you. You said general. You held on to the negative, and you. You're not talking about. You're not talking about my kid. No, sir. So don't say kids got a six-second mind. No. I'm if you're not, if my, my kid it, don't have a six-second mind. T- it's the crate challenge. It's the this. It's the that. That was That's adults. Like, that was adults, bro. On the yeah, crate for challenge. For real. <laughs> but you want me to tell you where <laughs> you're I'm wrong? Say, what I'm saying is they'll... We'll, we'll they'll, let you finish. They'll, we'll they'll, let me finish. finish. Go they'll, ahead. They'll throw this out you. I bet you in two, three weeks, something else will come up. Um... That's you know, us too. That's yeah. us too. Not just that's what I'm saying. That's our society. But that's what I'm. That's our society. I said that on the yeah. last episode. Like I said, that you're just. I was, numb in, to I was it. in Colorado yeah. when yeah, the bomb happened. I just said I was numb to the school shooting because they ain't gonna do he shit. Literally just I was in. Col- I was in Colorado and I remember them bringing in the, who they thought were the weirdos. And that's normal. That no, it that, has, but that's why that, that laws haven't been changed. Is that's normal to you? I said I seen the Santa Fe strong sticker. A crazy sticker. person will will find a way to do. Do we something. all crazy? A what? We all a crazy find, person we, every, will every, find every, a way. Every, right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. And and like, like I know you're right. right. You, but like I said, there, there is but like I said you last also episode, said every look, every look, country look, that took like their, I said last every episode, country, a crazy person figured out how to fly planes into buildings. Exactly, which you brought up. But guess what? But guess what? To this day, we still got to take our fucking shoes off. We still can't take liquids. They did something. And guess what? No, I don't. But it's guess what? Who's Who's flown a plane same? into a building? Hey, is it same? Since then, over here. Today, I mean, I'm just trying to figure out who's who after that. I, I didn't, I, Has 9-11 I didn't happened again yesterday. after they put... I didn't take my shoes off yesterday. Yeah, if you're pre-screened, yeah. No, I'm not pre-screened. Or whatever. Yeah, sometimes they... Yeah. Sometimes right. they'll... Right. Yeah, and but, the thing but anyway, said that it also, it also comes from, from home. You said that it also comes from home, right? Of course. Um. No. The thing about it with the kids is, as a parent, you you got to take responsibility. If your fucking kid is psycho and you see that shit, don't act like your kid is innocent. And well, I, it comes and, from and, home. And, right. and but what if you can't afford I to have that exactly. baby? You know why? I, I, because they forced you to have that baby. I, I got a 15-year-old, mm. and I, I've had issues with my 15-year-old, and they didn't come from home. 
Mm-hmm. The issues that I I have with my they don't come. From, That's what from I'm home, saying. Bro. It's like not every kid. My is my issues, from, the issues they, they don't from. it don't come from fucking home. Bro. No, it I'm don't. Asking, I'm so, just telling you. It I'm don't. asking. So where do you think they come from? They, it don't come from me. They, and they I'm fucking home. Parent, no, I'm, and I'm fucking home. And it don't come from me. Answering. I just answered your question. I'm fucking home. And it don't come from me. Okay. That. It don't come from home. Okay. Could all it the come time. from school? Could it come from friends? That's it doesn't I'm matter. And if it do come from home, I love you too. For real. But anyway. But exactly what I'm yeah. yep. So you have I no clue. Exactly where I was I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It don't come from. Sorry. It don't come from home. Sorry. Kanye, you were just way too impassioned, and you know how I am. How I feel about the kids. You don't have a child at home. We do not have a child at home. So some shit you need to tread fucking no. carefully on. Huh? That's I mean, all I'm saying. I tread carefully too. I understand too. that. I mean, y'all can do whatever. Yeah, but I'm tre- I'm also treading. At carefully the end of the day, too. y'all know me. I don't because. bother nobody. I don't mess with nobody. I tell myself. Yeah, we know you. That's why we're yeah. sitting here yeah. with yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. So. And and honestly, like what I tell what jokes. Tequila said, huh? I just tell jokes. But what Tequila said, like, a lot of these problems do not come from home because you have parents that are, yeah. quote-unquote, sign-minded or literally getting the help that they need to make sure and that they're And let's also in. bring up science for a second. Thank you. DNA. There could have been DNA, somebody crazy in your family and not know that yeah. you, it, it skipped you, but it may have went to your child. Oh, I, 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 I okay. a okay. few people. Okay, I, I, all right then. So, so yeah. shut up. Yeah. About that, yeah. that's just not the truth. You just de- debunked your own thing. Yeah. It's so just, you can't say these kids, You can't say these kids. Putting the focus on every motherfucking yeah. body else. You yeah. can't say that these kids that kill kids, because these were groans. You could tell their focus. If they were mentally insane, if they were showing some kind of shit, their friends or whoever would have fucking noticed that shit. They would they do. have had the money to go get help? They you I was gonna say well they usually do like that you know I don't want to bring they this. usually do they usually, usually do because I, I was I gonna know. say oh, what but, about yeah what about the people that shoot know. up churches huh? too how do you know for no, no you saying, know Rob we're in our I'm yeah, saying not like, I mean, I'm not, 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 not saying it's a hundred yet I'm not saying Y'all. it's a hundred it's not a hundred percent nothing's a I'm fucking hundred percent a lot of times you're like it's not a hundred percent that every fucking Arab is going to fly a plane into the, a building the world is too but guess what I never we still people have people rules and laws to narrow this shit to down narrow it's, city it's too it many happened people one time the world and we cracked big. the fuck down on it nope. and, and, and one thing demographic don't change human nature yeah it don't, I don't but, care where you if you if you sit, you wake up you put your pants on one leg at a time. Some people two leg at a time. You shit, you piss, you eat, you brush your teeth. Human nature. Your mind. Everybody mind work the same. Everybody heart work the same. I mean, human nature don't change regardless of where the fuck you at. Well, and it's just too many people in this world for us to sit around and try to narrow shit down to certain groups and all this other kind of. It don't make fucking sense. Anybody with. But, a sound mind. But what I our, mean, you got to do this. what our politicians that we pay for um, and elect can do is fix mental health care mm. pricing. They can fix low income assistance. If you want, you know, I mean, if you want them to sit around and spit out kids because yep. they can't afford condoms, you know how much condoms cost. Yep. Gas is high. Um, they can fix. Certain types of guns not being around, you can't. That, that that's just things that they can do. You yeah. can't fix people's can't, homes. Exactly. And you can't. and their DNA, and their science. No. So. Because they no book. They, you can't. But and you can collect data, and you can come up with all these statistics. Yeah. But it's not going. It's only as good as the motherfucker input. You got that. You know. It's only as good. Yeah. The data is only as good as, as the, the person input, that's collecting you know. it and input. Yes. I get that. I mean, I'm. That's part of my field, data. And the data that is only good is what I say. People yeah. listen to me and they believe that, you know, Mike took his time and he did a thorough research so we can appreciate what he presents well, to presents us. To and us. something That's can still it. happen. Something can still happen. Yeah. But you're doing your best My to prevent diligence. it. Yeah. Yep. My due diligence. Yeah. My due diligence. I mean, yep. but that's yeah. it. But that's, that's why I don't fuck with I, statistics. Are these politicians doing their due yeah. diligence? But that's the problem. 
No. Take <laughs> like a second, baby. All of them. All, all of them. them. All fuck of them. No. The donkey, the elephants, fuck you, fuck all of them. Fuck your kids, fuck your third cousin from your mom's side. That's, that was Get this shit right, man. It's like what the government of the United States established was the only, you know, uh, the amendment, there was an amendment um, that says to protect the American citizens. That's, that's, that's why I so many... I didn't even know dishwashers and no, washers and dryers keep saying that. Because it's the truth. But hear old me out. Old world shit out. is old world shit. Hear me out. Okay. If you believe in God... Can you hear me? If you actually believe in God, I don't give a fuck what God you're, you believe in, okay. then you know shit changes. Yep. And God allowed that to happen, right? If he didn't allow it to happen, then guess what? We would have been gone and need to start over by now. He's giving us, I he's can't. watching us. The end. Yeah? No, you can't. Because you're not, you don't let me, you're not letting me finish. What I'm saying is, how come we have a, a government that will send $40 million worth of weapons, <laughs> missiles, everything to a country? To, because there are civili- there are civilians protecting themselves because over it's, it's something that our government Russia. always it's something that our government always does. And I but it's just a trend. Why are they taking them before. from us? We they brought, always did. Okay, well, it's a brought, trend. That, but we also my grandfather said. Before. My grandfather said. He said the first thing Hitler did was to unarm uh, Germany. And the German and, and he said, and he also said that he uh, eradicated education. And exactly. took away books. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We did well, all that. Well, yeah. we're doing that too. But they couldn't. Yeah. Fight we're up doing a, that too. Like how can't pick and like, choose. Oh, you can't pick and choose. You can't pick and choose. With the, you, all can't the and you can't That's pick and choose. You can't pick and choose. That's what my grandmother said. Do you get goes, it? That was the first yeah, thing he did. Yeah. They took away weapons. Take away weapons. But there, nobody here is trying to take okay. away weapons. I don't think anybody. Most my most legal gun owners don't don't do mass shootings. So raw. I, and I respect Sorry. to your most right. legal gun owners. The and one I, who just shot up those kids was a legal gun owner and, here and, in Texas. And I respect to your. I don't even know how he got the damn money. He was like, and I respect, and I and I respect, and I respect, because he was out there at the drag shows. And I respect the Mister Ray. As a drag eating those dollars <laughs> from the toddlers. What I know, what I know about Hitler. Um, Germany was broke as fuck. You know, I seen pictures when I studied Hitler. I read one of his about most countries. They, they were, no, no, they, they, can I say, they were burning their money to heat to warm themselves up because they they money didn't even have no fucking value. So what the fuck? Take my gun. Give me a piece of bread. Mm-hmm. They were broke and destitute, no, and he also and he, and, he, and, he, and he also blamed that condition. He also blamed their condition. Now they're just trying to get people fit. Now, now <laughs> people are now just, just the, people are the, just too obese. They are, they're trying they're, to get us fit. Let, let me learn. They they also blame their condition on on, on the Jews and everybody else mm-hmm. that y'all That's y'all like this. So yeah. So and then this is one more thing. Hitler, since you brought him up. Because I'm done. What kind of yeah, fucking birthday episode is this shit? I wanted so, to talk about how fucking great and unique. So you are. Can, can you come back? You had a group of people that was broken, destitute, who needed a fucking answer. Right. Shit wasn't going their way. And they had this great orator, Hitler, can talk royal, and he he spoke to their itching ears. Yes. And they listened to his motherfucking ass. Yeah. Because they were broke, they didn't have shit. Oh, this dude. I, know I mean, so don't tell me no shit about giving guns and all this other. It's stupid. They took the books. I mean, he, he, he could he, he could, TV, he could have done TV. whatever the fuck he wanted to do because they was listening to him. All right, Mike. It's real. They listen to them. I said, yeah. okay. Yeah. And like I said, there's other countries I can run, run down for you when they well, just... Well, we're history, talking about history. History. Hit, Nothing new under the sun. And nothing, I want ours to not be anything like theirs. Nothing new under the sun. History repeat itself. We're the greatest. Yeah. When you see something new, get yeah. scared. Yep. I've had yes. Years. Because the devil just can't create. Overseas God, God can't create. God, and it's so when done you, with. Yeah, so when you secret. see something new, it's get scared. All this other shit is just. Everybody in America is it's just a repeat of everything repeat. that has yes. happened. Yes. It's a repeat of the world. Of yeah. We're rolling in circles. Yeah. But you're right. People Once that gate want. breaks. But I feel like our military should hold all of those weapons. Hmm? Those those semi automatic. Okay. I think we well, should have the same, them. The I didn't same. say I didn't say stop making them. I said I don't think regular people that aren't trained should have them. That's what I said. Wait, if I'm you're not a good shot, you don't need that anyway. How long does it take the police to get to your residence before you're shot and dead? You think? 
I don't know. Most, uh, probably, most prob- most. probably as long as it took them to go into that school to save those children. <laughs> oh, exactly. Yeah. You just proved the point. Yeah, that's the one they want to see. They were no, too scared. No, you just, they were too scared. You just proved they were the too point. scared. You just proved they the point. They were too scared. You're just. Pr- you know what? But no. I'm trained and ready to go. Oh well, you are, but the police would have stopped you. And you know what who went in there? That's what happened. You know who went in there? That's what happened in my household. In my kingdom. oh, in your household. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. What so when Harper goes to school, and there's a fucking eighteen year old who's I mad about something. Let me tell house. you something. Okay. No, let but me they tell stopped you them. Something. They you were know, arresting the, the parents. Police. Was driving on the police. Even, was even right my there. friend who is a cop wife is pissed off. Everybody's calling him a hero because he was a wife. I wasn't talking about that. Y'all jumped the subject. It was not. It was a border patrol. A border patrol. He did not go in as a border patrol. You know how he went in? He went in as a parent. Yeah. Yeah. Looking for his kid. Yeah. Yeah, because the cops were just because the cops were I'm what listen, listening to too the busy I'm very aware of arresting scared. parents. Scared, scared because aware. it was an AR. And what you know what fuck? fucks me over that I chose the place that I was like, dang, my kids, you know, they could not grow up here, that. not too far. You know how far Uvalde you is not from far at all. my house, from that school to my house. I can make that in thirty-five minutes if I wanted to in my car. Mm. Right 35 minutes. What That's if he would have chose an opposite direction to go? I, and it would have been the school where my children were. And I understand all that, but this is the same. Ain't no damn cop going to stop me. But fuck mama. them drag hell you But fuck them drag ain't shows. Nobody, ain't no cop going to. But fuck you know them what? Drag them drag bitches are going to come <laughs> yeah. to help me. Mm-hmm. Shoot. And they're heels. Alongside my husband. I just made a joke shoot this motherfucker that's shooting up a kid. I can shoot a motherfucker in heels. The drug with, no. with with a, a revolver. You go in as a parent at than first as a I kid. A and trouble race. these trouble kids. Nah. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah, done. Here, here I'm now. done now. Me too. Guys. One no, second. No, I'm really one, done. One, no, we, same we do. People, the same, we gave enough. It's my the birthday. Same I'm people done. again that want to sit there and talk I about guns say, and guns rights. Hold on. Same people that want to talk about guns and guns rights just left over three hundred thousand uh, dollars uh, of weapons. And, You're and focusing on, on the wrong thing, okay. baby. Okay. You're Instead focusing of humanity. Yeah, okay. that's the problem. That is yeah. humanity. Yeah. That is yeah. humanity. They were out there. I want to say thank you children. for having me again, my love. From Happy belated, okay. beautiful birthday. Thank you. You are like. Yes, and Thank tomorrow you. we yeah. gonna what? Celebrate you. This is what we so you better say. like Miss Brittany said. Said, said. You better work, really bitch. <laughs> you better so work, bitch. So now we we had our three thousand our episode where oh. our, our segment where we tell you uh, three thousand things about us. Uh, I feel we like we told to, about two thousand nine hundred ninety nine yeah. in this episode things yeah. about us. We won't. We Any won't, of them. We won't be doing a, uh, a current Any event no time soon. <laughs> <laughs> I right? see other shit. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Any I didn't see anything wrong with it. No, it was good. I mean, it is what it is. I guess I'm wrong. It ain't about wrong, but right. I'm just gonna have to go. You believe in what you believe in, right? You believe in what you believe in, bro. Believe in this by yourself. It's like written, it's written. They left three hundred. Okay, you believe you believe that right. machine guns. Yeah. To Afghani, uh, uh, oh, who gave them? Who gave it to them? Oh my god! I who gave them the fucking you machine gun? Believe it. About this no, after. Gonna, okay, that's okay. stupid as hell. All right. Okay. All right. I mean, that shit was there from the Cold War, probably. That's old ass shit. No, it's the new shit. But I mean, you also okay. said stop sending I mean, but we've been, we been giving them shit and leaving it. It's not the fucking first fucking time. <laughs> God damn. I, 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 I mean, it's not yeah, the first yeah. fucking okay. time, dude. Russia, but if you just want, if you just, if you just want to be with everybody else and blame one one group of people, go ahead. I'm not blaming one. Yes, group you group. just had people. No, I'm not blaming. One yeah, group yeah, you that's what you did. Yeah. You How? said, you that's what you said. These people, that's that's one Who's group. Who's in the administration? That's not one but person. But you do, Democrats you do, and a, a Republicans. Group, I, said a, I said that. I said a group. I said, I said there a, I, a group. Now. A okay. group of people. Yeah. That's okay. a group of people. That's they what make I. The decision. That's what I said. A group of people. Well, fuck them. Fuck them okay. both. Yeah. So if you want, that's wanna, what I'm saying. I didn't. Fuck them both. But like I said, if you want, right, can we get to our there segment? I'm literally about to take off. For doing whatever they doing. All right, this segment. Like this is literally like not what I wanted to do for my birthday weekend at all. I didn't want to do it on no weekend. But yeah. go no, it. me either. I yeah. never want them. And I yeah, answer the question too, right? We all do. We oh, all you all do. Okay. Yeah. What's the Are number? You, 
Um, it is eighteen fifty eight. I think it, it got a start behind. No, I, okay. I okay. just she did just it. it. One eight five eight. We were talking when y'all were talking. All right. Are you attracted to intelligence? Question mark. Yes. Does it matter to you? Oh, it matters. Then yes, I'm attracted to it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you could, I, and I keep bringing up Jason Momoa, I'll bring up somebody different, Channing Tatum. If you were stupid and looked like Channing Tatum, I would still be turned off. Yeah. Kind of like how I said about Johnny Depp. He's not unattractive for his age, but he just sounds he's, stupid. And he's probably not stupid, but he sounds stupid. So, he's just yeah. tired. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm tired of all the shit. I might, I, might, I, might, I might sound like him right after this podcast. I'm tired of all the shit. Tired. Yeah. Um, he just busy. Yeah. Been busy. Yeah. He can't get no rest. Yeah. yeah. What I about know. you, sir? I say yeah. Obviously, yeah. we could be married. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> From the beginning, that's what I've always complimented. Her I think I you say, know. I, I um. Sorry. No, no, no. I um. No. I told her that from the beginning, like I you know, would date girls and they just, when they didn't have like a substance or anything to me, like that I couldn't well, I, I ain't like, trying to cut you off, but we way over. Okay. And you my, I need a biological break. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I can't control <laughs> this, so. Okay. Well, you can finish the conversation, the but I'm going to cut this shit off. Okay. But to answer the question, <laughs> yeah. yes. We can talk about it later. Absolutely. All, right. all of us agree that Thank yes. Be a fucking smart ass. We love you. Thank you for listening. Sorry for the impassioned conversation, but that's. That's who real we are. life. Y'all yeah, might Shit. have to turn. That's up called real life. Turn up and turn down your radio <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Yeah, right. <laughs> Love go. you guys. Thank you so Love much. Y'all, please. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go drink. Hey, I'll, I'll see some of y'all tomorrow. We can talk about it. <laughs> That's it for this week's episode of Cognac, Tequila, and the Girl. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on your favorite podcast app. As always, we'd love to hear your feedback. Follow us on all the social medias. Leave your comments and reviews. Until next week, keep safe and keep your squad close. Thanks for hanging out.